Hi, this is Adam Fisher, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add filters uh, to any kind of movie clip, uh, hence symbols in Flash, to make them a little bit more unique. So in Flash, real quick, I'm going to go to Action Script 3.0, just bring up a basic stage here. I'm going to go over to my tool palette and go to Oval. I'm just going to hold Shift on my keyboard, click and drag to create a nice oval. And because I uh, had the object drawing tool activated during the creation process, you notice in the bounding box, go up to Selection Tool. Just have this selected. I'm going to go to Modify, Convert to Symbol. And in my uh, Convert to Symbol menu, I'm going to name it Ball. I'm going to make sure the registration point's at zero. And we're going to be 100% sure that it is a movie clip. Click OK. And down on my timeline, I'm just going to make a basic animation. So I'm just going to click and drag. Make sure I uh, click and drag in front of the keyframe. And up to frame 60. That sounds pretty good. Select my frames. I will right click and go to insert frames. Perfect. I'm going to rename a layer to ball animation. And on frame 60, I'm just going to go ahead and select that last frame, right click. I'm going to go to insert keyframe. And if you notice that the uh, ball right now is not moving, so I'm going to Select keyframe 60, go to transform tool, click and drag, hold shift, make sure it moves parallel across my stage. Perfect. So at frame 60, it's there. From frame 59 all the way to 1, it's stable. I will then click and drag and select all my frames, even the keyframes. Right click and say create class between. And now it should be animated. Perfect. And again, this is everything we learned prior. Okay. Let me go ahead and select it. Just have the selection tool activated here for the selection process. And once we've created a movie clip, has any kind of animation applied to it, or just a symbol in general, uh, you can have this object selected, go to properties, and what you're going to notice is there's a filter section, and I can add filters. So if I click this little down arrow to add, I can add a uh, wide range of filters here. So I'm going to select Drop Shadow, just so you can kind of see. And Drop Shadow allows us to actually increase blur. And you notice that we have a little Drop Shadow effect. I can increase the distance. Pretty nice. I can just have any filter selected, and I can hit the minus key. Let's add another one. And add a blur. Blur for your ball animation probably isn't a good idea, because we want to see the ball. But it gives you some insight if you want to create uh, area shadows or soft shadows, maybe uh, depth of field, DOF. Background elements can be out of focus slightly as you progress with your animations. You have blur select and hit the minus key. Let's add another one. Could I do the glow? Uh, you can increase the blur and it creates a little glow effect. Again, this probably isn't the best for your ball animation, but just so you understand what they all do and how you can change them. Uh, I can change the color. Even do a knockout. So it does like a little color inverse. Inner glow. I can switch the whole glow where it's on the outside to the inside. Increasing the blur. You'll notice that you get kind of like a gradient blend. I have glow selected. I'm just going to knock it out real quick. Let's add another one. Bevel. Increase the bevel blur. You notice that it kind of creates more of a three dimensionality of the ball. Change the color of the highlight to what you like. Change it to like a brighter green here to match, or it can go blue. If I want to make it a little bit darker. I can add a adjust color. And I can go through its properties. I can increase brightness, contrast, saturation. I'll dull out the color or change the hue. Keep in mind, you don't just have to have one filter applied. I can have multiple filters, many I'd like. And each filter I can modify it for you. Keep in mind that you can uh, go to my LinkedIn page at linkedin.com if you would like to uh, link up with me and uh, have me as a uh, resource and a reference in your uh, list of contacts. You can uh, send me a message at my LinkedIn and uh, I will reach out to my Yahoo 
email, uh, hence my uh, Gmail accounts, and uh, I can always be there to help you. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, look forward to working with you.